This is the third time I've tried to make this video. Let me give you some context. I have noticed a lot of people who want new Dobby Vanity give interviews. That's great. Especially if you were victimized by him. I very much support you guys. I am... I, I support everyone who is speaking out against him. There is only one person I do not support speaking out against him. His name is Marco. He's been given a couple interviews. But you cannot talk about being a victim when you yourself are an abuser. I knew Marco for three years. From 2014 to 2017. For those three years, he was probably a really close friend to me in my eyes. Because at the time, I didn't understand what he was doing to me. I was 18. Yeah, I was 18. But it doesn't excuse him. It doesn't absolve him of the sins that he has done to me personally. I am here to speak on what Marco has done to me. And I am here to listen to anyone else who has had experiences with them. So back in 2014, I was new to Facebook. I was kind of into Blood on the Dance Floor. I know that sort of friend of mine got me into it, but I was more into Jay's vocals. Just from a musician standpoint, I thought his vocals were very solid and very, very clean. I didn't like Davi much, but eh, he was part of the band. I understand bands are kind of a package deal, so I just kind of overlooked it. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, Marco and I were in some scene kid Facebook group where I was pretending to be a goth because I didn't know what goth was yet. And I, uh... He messaged me, or he made a comment on some post of mine about Davi and how much I wanted to meet him because, you know, successful band, I'm a, I was a musician at the time, I'm still a musician, but I really need to get back into it. Anyways, he messaged me with like, hey, I know Davi personally, I've been friends with him for years, maybe I can hook you two up and you two can talk and go on tours and whatnot. And I'm like, cool. And so we started talking and hanging out online, and he he and I just became really good friends. And we talked about anything and everything under the sun. Marco then talked to me about, you know, mental health issues, suicide, depression, how he wasn't feeling very loves where he was at the time. I don't know where he is now. I don't care to know. Don't tell me. But he tells me that he doesn't like where he's living, that a lot of people don't like him, and I get it. I've been there. But Marco was in his 20s at the time. I was 18. I had literally just graduated high school. This was June or July the year I graduated high school. And he was like, yeah, well, I'm not feeling the greatest. Maybe you can help me feel better. And I'm like, okay, whatever. What can I do for you? And he asked for a picture of my boobs. And at first, I really didn't want to. I was like, nah, nah I really don't want to do that. And of course, he was like, well, I feel like killing myself. And of course, I fell for it. And I sent him. You know, whatever. And so that became a big pattern with him. He started talking about suicide and asked for nudes. I didn't always want to. Like, I, no, not, I'm not in the mood, Marco. No, Marco, I, I really don't feel up to, for it. But some way or another, he convinced me and I obliged. Fast forward to July or August 2015, I, fun, I meet 
slower foil who, for those of you who don't know, is my now fiance. At the time, he was my boyfriend. We were just starting to hook up, and I tell Marco, no more. I'm not doing it anymore. I found someone IRL. I really like him, and I don't feel comfortable doing this anymore. And he, he was cool with it. it. It was fine. He was like, okay, I don't blame you. You found somebody. I'm very, very happy you finally found somebody who's worthy of you, and I wish you all the best. We still talked, just not as often. I was very busy with the uh, play I was doing for my local theater. I was dealing with the ex trying to stir up drama at the time. I, I was busy. I was also trying to get my GED because my high school diploma wasn't up to standards for my state. My A lot of things were happening in my life, so we just kind of fell out and stopped talking until 2017 where he calls me up or he either called me or texted me while I was in school and was like I need to talk to you Luna I'm like okay talk what's going on and he's like can I call you okay what's up and he's crying he is heavily in tears just crying and I'm like dude what the fuck's going on and he's like, I'm going to kill myself. It's going to happen. I'm going to die today. And there's nothing you can say or do to convince me otherwise. And I'm like, slow down, slow down. You you need to express it. What it is that you want. Do you need an ambulance? Do you need Do you need me to call emergency services for you? Do you need me to do X, Y, or Z for you? And he goes, No. I have an idea. Okay, tell me, what, what's this idea? I want to send you, I want you to send me, sorry, a video of your boyfriend and you having sex. And I refused him. And he didn't like that. It was very obvious that he didn't like that. And so he keeps calling me and texting me for three days and two nights. He called and texted me. And I kept refusing. And so finally he calmed down after all that time and I blocked him for a while. And after I thought he had learned his lesson about the word no and what it means, I unblocked him. Then in a Facebook group that I am still in, they were talking about him and they were telling their stories, which I will not tell because they are not my stories to tell. But basically, I was like, hey, I'll wait, I know this guy. He's like my best friend. What the literal fuck is this? And then it hits me what he had done. And everything made sense. Everything just kind of fit. And so I confronted him. I'm like, what is this? What the fuck have you done? Because it's not just me anymore. You've done this to other people. And he tried telling me excuses. He tried. Oh, did he try. And I blocked him again. And I didn't have contact with him until this year. A couple weeks, a couple months ago. Where I reached out to him. Because I saw he was doing interviews. And I'm like, we haven't spoken in a while. And I need answers. Why did you put me through the hell that you did? Why did you want this the this specific video of slower foil and I? And why? Just why would you do this to me? And he made up so many beautiful excuses, y'all. He was in a dark place. He was going through a lot of shit. Blah 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 blah. And then he gives me a doozy of a story that he was giving my nudes to Dobby. Because Dobby wanted them. So not only did you betray my trust twice, but now you're telling me that you've actually betrayed my trust probably hundreds of times because you sent these images to somebody that I hardly knew 
I didn't even talk to the dude. I never talked to Dobby Vanity. And you, you sent stuff that I was sending to you because I gave a shit about you. I actually loved you, not in a romantic type of way, but I had, it is a very mixed bag of emotions when it came to Marco and I at the time. But he claims to have sent everything that I had sent him to Dobby. And I'm... There is no excuse for it. There is nothing you could say, Marco, if you ever watch this video. There is nothing you can say that makes you look good in that light. You were in a dark place. You were depressed. You were suicidal. I... That... Did, automatically no longer matters because you took something private and technically sacred and sent it to someone else. I trusted you with information about my life, about me. What else could you have sent to Davi if you're even telling the truth? Are you trying to make yourself look better by telling me this? Ugh. I don't understand. And that's why I'm telling, that's why I'm making this video. It's because Marco is not an innocent man. He is just as or possibly more guilty. What would have happened? Because there were talks of him coming down to where I live and us actually meeting up. Playing videos, actually hanging out in person. And all that stuff. I really hope this video didn't get skipped over. And I'm sorry if it did. My phone can only record so many gigs at a time. When I splice it all together, I hope it doesn't skip too much. But there were talks of you coming to see me. And we were going to hang out. What was going to happen to me? Looking back, I'm very, very glad that I never met him in person. It's scary what happens when you think you're friends with somebody who betrayed you in the way that Marco betrayed me. And so many other young women. And so, the question becomes, am I going to report him to the police? I can't. Because I was over age of consent technically because I was over the age of 18 and there's just nothing I can do but I am here to listen you can message me anytime on Twitter and on Instagram my Twitter is at the real scared Luna well at real scared Luna my Instagram is just scared Luna that's me and I, I am here to listen to you guys. I am here to support anybody else who has been affected by Marco and what he's done. Because I can't be the only one. I know I'm not the only one he's hurt. Marco is not innocent. And I wish those of you who gave the interviews would listen when I leave a comment. Or when I message you. And I'm not going to drop your names. I'm not going to drop your channels it's not fair to you guys because you guys might not know a lot of you might watch the videos of Marco saying of what Dobby did to him but the moment you participate in abusing other people you stop being the victim you you can no longer call yourself a victim when you actively hurt other people too and I really need to in this video before I get much more stressed out. So I'm going to leave this here. I will answer any and all questions down in the comments that you guys leave. Please, please do not send hate to anyone. And a special thank you to Corrupt Makeup for opening the door for me to tell my story. For telling my story first. I really appreciate you, girly. I'm gonna go now. 
sorry for not ending this video well, but I've said what I've had to, and I will see you guys in a different video. More amnesia to come, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Good night.